David Beckham and his wife Victoria reveal what they will attend the royal wedding next month. His wife Victoria Beckham has confirmed that they will be attending the royal wedding next month. And ahead of touching down on home turf, David Beckham was seen maintaining his healthy lifestyle as he picked up some smoothies in West Hollywood. The athlete, 42, cut a casual figure in a black hoodie and shorts as he refueled himself after his early morning spin session. David cut a trendy figure and his sports chic ensemble, which he teamed with white socks and trainers, as well as a white binny cap. He was seen juggling two purple smoothies from Earth Bar as well as some breakfast as he made his way to his vehicle. David's sighting in the sun comes after Victoria confirmed she will be attending the royal wedding next month. The fashion designer, 43, was asked whether she had secured a coveted invite to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's upcoming nuptials during an appearance on The Late Late Show with James Corden on Thursday night. I, uh, I, I don't know. Victoria stammered as James, 39, and fellow guest Shaquille O'Neal, 46, looked on. She's totally going, James teased her while mimicking her response as Shaq nodded in agreement. Yes, England is so excited. It is so great, isn't it? They look so happy, Victoria said, seemingly confirming she and husband David had received an invitation. James also asked the Spice Girls singer if she was designing Markle's dress for her big day, set for May 19th at St. George's Chapel and the grounds of Windsor Castle. Sadly, I'm not, but I'm sure she'll look incredible, Victoria said confirming earlier reports that she wasn't the wedding dress designer. Community heroes have been named among Harry and Meghan's wedding guests as it emerged U.S. President Donald Trump and predecessor Barack Obama have not been invited. The American leader and other politicians, both home and abroad, are missing from the guest list as the prince and his bride-to-be have chosen friends, colleagues and those they already know rather than prime ministers and presidents. A Kensington Palace spokesman said, it has been decided that an official list of political leaders both UK and international is not required for Prince Harry and Mies Markle's wedding. Her Majesty's government was consulted on this decision, which was taken by the royal household. Members of the public picked to share in the couple's day, by watching the spectacle from the grounds of Windsor Castle, were revealed earlier and include a 12-year-old school of jewel caught up in the Manchester Arena bombing. The informality of Harry and Meghan's 600-strong guest list also reflects the smaller size of their wedding venue, compared to Westminster Abbey which staged the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's royal nuptials in 2011. The prince is also not expected to become king, unlike older brother William, who invited a large number of politicians, heads of state and other officials to his wedding. Mel Online has contacted Victoria's representatives for comment. Shock told a story about how he once found a wallet in Tony Beverly Hills belonging to Victoria's husband David. Usually I take all the money and just throw them, Shock said, but he checked and found an ID card for David and tracked him down. Shock said he pretended to be a thug holding the wallet for ransom, but David sussed him out. David loses his wallet all the time, Victoria said. The mother of four said she bought him a wallet on a chain to try and prevent this from happening. He lost the wallet with a chain on it, she laughed. James got Victoria to commit to a carpool karaoke segment with the Spice Girls. He then asked Shaq what his Spice name would be, Blackie Spice, replied Shaq whose long list of nicknames includes the Diesel, the Big Galactus, the Big Daddy and Shaq Fu. Victoria and Shaq were on the show promoting their new collaboration with Reebok. She designed Shaq-themed t-shirts and 